There's been a lot of emphasis on trying to understand how climate change will affect what we do as, as people um, and how it will affect plants and animals. One of the uh, major emphasis of this study is to explore not only what uh, the impacts of climate change are likely to be given the current um, distribution of uh, um, corn production in the U.S. and the current energy policies um, and the current economy, uh, but also to ask uh, how might people respond to these changes. So we've looked at a period over the next three decades, and uh, we actually expect that we'll see less than one degree Celsius or less than two degrees Fahrenheit of global warming uh, over this period. So uh, in the U.S., uh, currently we have a, a policy that um, mandates that uh, corn be sold into the biofuels market, uh, that, that uh, a certain amount of, of uh, biofuels be blended into to fuels. What our results suggest is that uh, the combination of uh, increasing heat waves from climate change and a biofuels mandate that requires corn to, to be sold into these um, energy markets uh, enhances the volatility of corn prices in the U.S. The same climate that, that the Corn Belt experiences now uh, is likely to move uh, substantially towards uh, the Canadian border and the Great Lakes um, even over the next three decades as a result of global warming. Given the current areas of production where, where most of the, of the corn production in the U.S. is concentrated in the Corn Belt, uh, that if that stays the area of, of high production, that we'll see more uh, yield volatility for corn. So um, more swings in, in corn yields uh, in the future with global warming, uh, more sharp uh, swings in corn prices with global warming. If farmers or seed breeders can, can increase uh, their, their heat tolerance by, by about six degrees Fahrenheit, then that would offset the, uh, the increasing heat waves that, that, uh, that are likely to occur. There are a lot of questions as to whether or not um, uh, humans are able to, to keep up with those changes and, and exactly how, uh, how that will happen.